hello guys um welcome to my youtube channel so this is sunday morning and i am about to leave for church but i've still got some time so i thought i would just quickly record this video um before i leave for church so i just want to say thank you so much um guys for all your support and all your comments and all your likes and all your subscriptions um just for supporting me on this channel really um thank you so much for um new subscribers and everyone who's commented on my videos even my last video um you guys are just so amazing and i've met so many lovely people through this channel and i'm just so glad that um god is using me to be able to encourage you guys but you guys are encouraging me too and you guys are keeping me going because i know that we are all um going through the same struggles um in life and we're all walking this christian journey together so i want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive and yeah welcome to all the new subscribers um so today i'm going to be talking about um singleness so being a single uh, christian i don't think i've talked about relationships here on my channel um i don't really talk about it that often although i have one video um which i posted a couple of months ago which uh when i was reviewing a book called pure and it's um sex and relationships god's way i'm gonna leave the link for that video down below if you are interested in watching that but yeah i think that's the only time when i've ever talked about um relationships uh, or any kind of you know thing like that here on my channel but um, today I thought I'll talk about this uh, topic of singleness because, I mean, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of videos going around about, um, you know, people talking about being single, uh, the perks of being single or why they love being single or um, just like uh, blessings of being single, the joys of being single. All of that stuff and I know there are a lot of single people out there including myself um, but then I just wanted to talk about the joys of singleness from a Christian perspective and I just wanted to um, share a little bit of my experience tell you guys about some of the you know the joys of being single the blessings of singleness and then also refer to some Bible passages and what the Bible has to say about singleness and marriage and all of that stuff so i've written some notes i've written some notes because i know that i have this tendency to ramble a lot so i'm gonna try my best not to um ramble a lot in this video so so um yeah so we i think we often see sometimes we often see singleness as a curse really and i remember in that book i was reading pure um there was a chapter where she was talking about how if singleness is a gift and how come nobody wants it you know how um a lot of people often say that oh no singleness is a gift from god you know but a lot of us single christians don't want it because you know singleness is not as the fact is true it is a gift but it is hard singleness is hard and there's a lot of things that you deal with um just being single and i'm i'm going to i'm going to relate to a lot of these things here like it it is a gift from god which is which is true but the state of being single makes you more vulnerable to a lot of other things and um I think one of those things, especially here in the Western world and, you know, our culture and our society and all of that stuff where everyone is in a relationship. I'm here at university and I'm surrounded by couples left, right and centre. I mean, here in London, you go on the tube and you're going on the escalator, whatever. And I there's not one time I've been on the tube going up and down the stairs or whatever that I haven't seen a couple hugging and snugging in public like it's 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 we're surrounded by it. everyone talks about marriage everyone talks about relationships everyone talks about love so you know it's not it's something that we can't really run away from so it's very easy for us to be prone to jealousy and being envious of other people you know um just asking everyone is in a relationship why aren't i in a relationship um everyone is getting married but me um I'm pretty, I'm a nice person, I'm hardworking, I'm this, I'm that. How come, you know, people don't approach me? How come guys don't approach me? Um, you know, and stuff like that. And the reality starts to hit you. I'm talking from my experience because um, my friends, my 
you know the reality actually hits you when your friends start getting engaged and getting married um at work where i work in the hospital one of my colleagues who is like the same age as me she got married uh i think the beginning of this year so it's almost been a year now since she got married and my friends as well my one of my friends i went to boarding school with she is engaged and she's getting married next year so you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of when that kind of reality hits you and you're just here single, you know, that can build up some kind of jealousy or, you know, just make you feel bad about your own state of being single. And you just start to think, oh, God, why aren't you sending me someone like what is wrong with me, you know, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so being single is hard. And there's also the 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 idea of dealing with temptation as we all know um it is it can be a struggle to flee away from this temptation flee away from sexual immorality um but then even marriage is hard i know singleness is hard and i know even god said it wasn't good for adam to be alone he said he was going to send him a helper you know to help him fulfill you know the purpose that god had for him but even marriage is hard marriage has its own troubles too being in a relationship has its own troubles too thinking about you know someone else is putting thinking about someone else's priorities and bringing them into your life and you know both of you, two individuals trying to work together, you know, that is hard work. Relationships are hard work. So even though singleness has its own troubles, marriage has its own troubles too. And I think that's something that we can, you know, we should think about. So um, I would say singleness is a blessing just as marriage is. It is singleness is not a second best. It is not something you should you should be scared of or not something you should run away from. It is a gift from God, just as marriage is a gift. And I know a lot of people say, um, you know, that they're, they're, they're lonely, you know, saying that they're, they're, being single makes them lonely and then they can't be able to do work for God and they can't work because they're not in a relationship that doesn't make any sense your relationship status does not determine you know how much you do for god you that your relationship status should not determine whether or not you decide to work for god you should work for god out of your love for him if you want to write a book you don't have to be in a relationship to write a book if you want to start a blog you don't have to be in a relationship to start a blog if you want to travel the world and and and, and dance or or, or or write or do any other thing that god has called you to do you don't need to have a boyfriend or you don't need to be married to do all of those things okay your purpose fulfilling your purpose your god-given purpose does not does not stop and um, being in a relationship or not does not stop you from fulfilling your god-given purpose so singleness is a gift just as marriage is and i think it's something that we should think about i mean another thing i wanted to stress upon is that even though i've mentioned i know i started off by mentioning a lot of the hard things you know being single but singleness has its advantages too and i, I want to refer to first corinthians chapter 7 i know that if you've watched a lot of um uh, videos about singleness then you would have come across the scripture a lot but it is what the bible says and i think it's important to stress on this fact so um first corinthians chapter 7 i'm going to read from verse 32 <laughs> this is apostle paul writing to the corinthian church and he addressed um, married people and now he's, con he's addressing the unmarried people so the single people aka us um and he said i would like you to be free from concern remember that apostle paul himself was single he was never married so he was talking to the um, um single people in the church so he was like i would like you to be free from concern an unmarried man is concerned about the lord's affairs how he can please the lord but a married man is concerned about the affairs of this world how he can please his wife and his interests are divided 
An unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the Lord's affairs. Her aim is to be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit. But a married woman is concerned about the affairs of this world, how she can please her husband. I'm saying this for your own good, not to restrict you, but that you may live in a right way in undivided devotion to the Lord. The one thing that I see from that passage as the great, you know, advantage of singleness is that it is your chance to get to know God. It is your chance to get closer to him, to work on your relationship with him. It is your chance to know the love of God, to know what love is. Do you know what love is? You want to get into a relationship. Do you know what, how much of a commitment a relationship is? Do you know, you know, the, 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 the troubles that comes with, you know, being committed to someone else and you know how you guys need to work together how you guys need to you know synchronize everything that you do literally you need to know God and to know his promises for you and to work in your relationship and it's not only when you are in a relationship that you guys would you know get to know God together obviously it's a good thing it's a great thing to get to 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 know God you know with your partner have a study um you know, have a, a partner where you guys would um, study together and get to know God together. But look at your single season as that time where that alone time that you have with God. And um, this is an experience I had recently. So over the summer, my friend was living with me um, for a couple of weeks. Um, and uh, I remember during that time, there were a lot of compromises I had to make because obviously when I'm living on my own, I, I just do whatever I want. I, I, I buy the, what I want. I decide what I want to cook and I don't have to think about anyone else. Um, but then I realized that there were a lot of compromises I had to make then. I had to think about, oh, if I'm buying soy milk, does she like soy milk? If I buy soy milk, she's not going to have breakfast because she doesn't like soy milk. Or, you know, like if I'm cooking this, will she like this? You know, and, you know, stuff like that. And even we did have a lot, we did um, do a lot of Bible study together and, when not that I didn't enjoy her company, it was great having her with me for a couple of weeks. But then after she left, I realized that I had missed that alone time with God. I had missed just being alone and, you know, uh, um, doing my, my, my devotions, you know, on my own and just uh, um, talking to God and, you know, just crying out to him and pouring my heart out to him without thinking about someone else being in the room. Do you get what I mean? Like, it, it just emphasize to me how much of a blessing it is to have that alone time with God and to, to work on our relationship with him and get closer to him. So it has it, it has its advantages too. Singleness has its advantages. And I would encourage you to read um First Corinthians 7. It's more than you know, there's more to it than meets the eye. And another thing I wanted to talk about is that singleness is not permanent. Okay? God is teaching us patience. He's working on us and he's teaching us patience. If he's going to bless you with the gift of marriage, if he's going to send you a husband, if he's going to send you a wife, no one, absolutely no one is going to stop that. No one is going to stop that. So why do you worry? Why do you worry about getting into a relationship, you know, having a boyfriend, getting married? If God's going to bless you with, him, with, with, with your own husband, then it's going to happen eventually. We have to be patient in the season and to prepare ourselves, you know, for, for, for that, for what's coming ahead Singleness is not perma it's not permanent. It is only a season. And a lot of us that are single will get married eventually in this life. But there will be some people too who, who wouldn't who wouldn't get married in this life. But that doesn't still mean that singleness is permanent because if we read if we read um Revelation chapter 19 verse 7. Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 it talks um it says let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready so we know how the bible does refer to us the children of god as um the bride and how jesus is the bridegroom the bible does promise that he will come back one day 
for his bride and that is us the church so those who believe in him those who trust in him he will come back for us one day and really it would be like a it would be a wedding feast it would be like the bride which is us he was going to wash us clean to be as white as snow and then he's going to present he's, we're going to be presented to him you know sinless and blameless and flawless and you know there's going to be a marriage between the bridegroom and the bride and he promises that he's going to wipe away every tear from our eyes. There will be no pain, no hurt, no, no jealousy, no anger, all this struggling that you're struggling with now. You know, there's not going to be any of that. There is going to be a wedding. The lamb is going to come back and, you know, we will be joined together with him. Till, you know, till, till, till eternity, for all eternity. That So singleness is not permanent whether it's here on earth or in heaven and it's important to think about that don't waste your singleness don't waste it you don't want to look back and see that you've spent all of this time complaining and being jealous and being and being envious or, or, or looking at other people comparing your life with others no no where does your heart lie where does your treasure lie fix your eyes on jesus fix your eyes on the price be careful that you don't look at relationships and marriage as an idol because anything that you think about more than anything that comes before your 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 service to god is an idol be careful that you don't you don't your worship to god is not the, um it's not less important than you know your relationship status being in a relationship should definitely not be an obstacle for you serving God. So be careful that that doesn't become an obstacle. And if you're struggling, remember that you are not alone. There are a lot of single people out there, a lot, myself included, a lot of single people out there. Talk to someone, talk to your single friends, talk to your your, your, your youth, at ch um, you know, your friends at church, at school. You know, you guys are going through this together. You're going through the same struggles. Trust me, it is hard. There are a lot of people going through it. You're not the only one. So please talk to someone if you're you're struggling with you know staying pure and you know all of all of these things talk to someone okay and talk to god he knows how you feel talk to god ask him to help you not waste your singleness he understands so yeah that's all i wanted to share with you guys today um i hope that you're encouraged I pray that God gives you strength to keep, you know, keep yourself and just keep waiting for him. He will come through for us. Definitely he will. So, um, yeah, uh, I will run off to church now. But um, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and God bless.